Hi everyone. Today the topic is solution thermodynamics. Many applications of chemical engineering thermodynamics apply to systems where multi-component gases or liquids undergo composition changes as a result of mixing or separation process. The properties of such systems depend on composition as well as on temperature and pressure. So in this solution thermodynamics, we start with fundamental property relation where the composition will be changing. So the basic relation connecting the Gibbs energy to the temperature and pressure in a closed system is given by the equation D of Ng is equal to Nv dp minus Ns dt. So here G is the Gibbs energy, V is the volume and S is the entropy and P and T are temperatures and pressure. So N is the number of moles of chemical species. So from this equation, for a closed system of constant composition, we can write this equation as dou of Ng by dou P at constant temperature and N is equal to Nv. Similarly, dou of Ng by dou T at constant pressure comma N is equal to minus Ns. Then, for a single phase open system which can interchange the matter with its surroundings, the total Gibbs energy is a function of temperature and pressure. So here, Ng is also a function of number of moles of chemical species present in the system. Then we can write Ng is equal to G of pressure, temperature, N1, N2 and so on Ni, where Ni is the mole numbers of the species. Based on this, the total differential of Ng can be written as D of Ng is equal to dou of Ng by dou P at constant temperature N, there is a number of moles, into dP plus dou of Ng by dou T at constant pressure comma N into dT plus sigma I dou of Ng by dou Ni at constant pressure, temperature and Ni into the Ni. So the sigma I is written for all the mole numbers of the species. So here the summation is over all the species present and the subscript Nz indicates that all mole numbers except I or L constant. So here replacing the first two partial derivatives by Nb and minus Ns we can write the above equation as D of Ng is equal to Nb dt minus Ns dt plus sigma i D of Ng by dou Ni at constant pressure, temperature and Ng into the So the above equation also and the substitute is Ng. the chemical potential with the symbol mu i which is equal to dou of ng by dou ni at constant pressure temperature and ng now by substituting this term in the above equation we get the final equation dng is equal to nvdp minus nsdg plus sigma i mu i d n i so here dou of ng by dou n i is replaced with simple term chemical potential mu i 
so this is the fundamental property relation for a single phase fluid systems of constant or variable composition so this is the foundation equation upon which the structure of solution thermodynamics is built so this equation we can write for the special case of one mole of solution that is n equal to 1 and ni is replaced by the mole fraction xi then d of ng becomes dz which is equal to vdp minus sdt plus sigma i mu i in place of dni we are placing mole fraction xi so sigma i mu i dxi so then the gibbs energy is a function of pressure temperature x1 x2 and so on xi so this expression displays the functional relationship of molar gibbs energy to its canonical variables so the variables are called as canonical variables temperature pressure and xi from the above equation we can write s is equal to minus dou z by dou t at constant pressure comma x x is the mole fraction similarly another equation v is equal to dou z by dou p at constant temperature comma x so gibbs energy acts as a generating function and provides a means for the calculation of other thermodynamic properties so this is the today's topic fundamental property relation for the open system so if you like my description please subscribe my channel please like comment and share my videos don't forget to subscribe thank you very much